up an FTP server, first of all you're going to need to add in the web server rule. So from server manager, add rules, web server IIS, next, next, and you're going to need to scroll right to the bottom of the list. They've done a good job of hiding it. Right near the bottom you'll see FTP server. Next, install. As usual, I've speeded that up. Hopefully, it should say installation succeeded. Close. Okay, we'll finish with that. What I'm going to do now is create a group for my FTP users. And this is the domain controller anyway, so I'll just create an active directory. Group new. I'll call it FTP underscore users. Leave it on the default of global security group. And in there, I'll add in the domain administrator. And I'll also add in my user object. Smash him. Apply. OK. OK, we'll finish with that. OK, under Administrative Tools, you'll see Internet Information Services, or IIS Manager. Expand your server name. And if you right click Sites, you now have the option to add an FTP site. Give the site a sensible name. I've already created a folder on the E drive called FTP data. Change the bottom setting to allow SSL rather than require SSL, otherwise you won't get in without a certificate. We've got basic authentication. Change the drop down to specific roles or user groups. And add in the user group we created earlier. I've given that user group read and write. And that's my site set up. To test it off the server itself, simply drop to command line and FTP to localhost. Username and password, and that's us successfully logged in and it's up and running. Now what you will find is the firewall will block any external communications to the FTP site. Run firewall.cpl and allow through the firewall and you will notice that even though FTP server is listed as an exception you still can at FTP. What you're going to need to do is add a program and browse to your Windows System32 directory and look for your svhost.exe. Add that in and then you can select it off the list. Now you'll see host process for Windows services. Select your allow options as applicable. OK. Okay, we'll finish with that. Now, I'll test that externally from my Windows 7 box. So far, so good. Administrator, tap in the password. And that's it working. Don't forget to pop across to www.petenetlife.com. Thank you very much.